Hello everybody. Welcome back to another video and I hope you guys are preparing to have a wonderful Christmas. Hope you guys are all having a great week. I uh, want to say thank you for everybody who's watching and commenting. Um, yeah, you guys are all awesome and I just really hope the best for you guys for Christmas. Hope you guys get everything you want and do some good for people and uh, just make it great for you and everyone around you. So, um, just want to throw out a little bit of a haul video real quick. Um, so first of all, got a couple of these little, um, oh, I can't remember what they call these things. Uh, do, do, do hero cross figures, little tiny ones. I uh, picked them up at Ross for three bucks piece. I got Batman and Wonder Woman. Nothing real special. I just thought they were kind of neat. Move along. Next up, uh, picked up a glow in the dark Michelangelo kid robot figure. See, he right there, that guy. Then I picked up a bunch of these little display things that I might use for some kind of display or something. I don't know. I don't know. I might play with them and do something with them. Actually, I will not like actually play with them. Then I picked up. I'm going to run it through this rope as quick as I can. Um, some more little bits and pieces for display. And I picked up a key. And I think that's the actual right key that I needed for my uh, Beast Wars 25th Anniversary Megatron. I think that's the key I needed. So, uh, happy to have that. Then I picked up an AT-AT Pilot uh, Vintage one. I could have swore I had one of these. And I don't see him anywhere, so I guess I didn't. So, yeah. Um, next up, where do I want to go from here? Let's do this stuff here. Ugh. So, I picked up a Scarif Trooper at... Uh, five below for five bucks. And I picked up another one because I mentioned, remember uh, a few videos back I said that um, I was wanting to get a couple of these and make customs out of. So, yeah, that's what those are for. Now I finally found a Gamorrean Guard. I actually had a buddy pick this up for me. Um, and then I found like 20 of them sitting on a shelf at Target. So, yeah. Then... I picked up a Siege Hound figure. He's pretty cool. I'd like to get Sideswipe. Uh, they don't have a picture of Sideswipe on there. I don't see Sideswipe! Um, but yeah, he's the only other one I kind of wanted from the uh, the smaller wave. And um, the Ultra Magnus I really like. And the Shockwave. Uh, yeah, it's Shockwave. Um, I will definitely be, hopefully be getting him. Next up, picked up some vintage Star Wars stuff. So, got a Y Wing here. It is missing um, more or less everything. Basically, I got to get the rear struts uh, and the gun. So, and the uh, bomb. Yeah, there's a bomb that's supposed to go right where that orange tab is. So, when I look at these things, I always try to figure out how much it's going to cost versus what one of these things go for. So, uh, one of these, oops, one of these complete, uh, around 120 bucks shipped. So I've got 10 bucks into this thing right now. Uh, the struts, I should have bought them and I passed on them. And I, I don't know why, just, I had other projects I want to finish first, but the struts on this thing are going to cost, I'm hoping under 15 bucks for all eight of them. And then the two end caps, I don't know, I can't find any of them, so I'm guessing 10 bucks a piece. Um... So I've got about 35 bucks in that stuff. Uh, the gun up top, uh, I don't really care if it's a repro, but I'd like to find an original. So I have 20 bucks in that and maybe 20 bucks in the missile. Um, those are all, I'm hoping high prices. I'm hoping I find them for uh, cheaper and can go through and do a good restoration on this. Look how clean that battery cover is. That almost looks like it was a replacement. Um, so I have about 35 uh, 55 and 75 
if my math's right. So I'll have 85 bucks in this when it's done and do a full restoration on it. Uh, unfortunately, to do a restoration on this, which I'm guessing I will have to for the landing gears because they are completely stuck. So, um, unless I can pull these things out and pull this forward, which, yeah, it's completely jacked so i'm gonna have to pull this thing apart and uh redo the landing gears on this thing so i'm hoping i don't find anything internally wrong with it usually they just jump up off track um but hopefully i'll have a little bit less money in it than what it would have cost me to buy one so um if i can be um 90 bucks on one of these i'd be okay with that plus it kind of you're not spending the money all at once you're kind of partnering out over time and i feel like that means a lot more whenever you kind of have um, a hand in making it, you know, not really making it, but, you know, making it into the collection. Uh, next up, same thing. I picked up uh, Slave 1 here. And I'm just going to move this Y-Wing back there. And move all that stuff back that way. Um, so I picked up the Slave 1. Uh, it has a cockpit. Is really the only thing it has. Um, this cost me 10 bucks too. Um, I've actually got another slave one coming that's got the door, it's got the wings, uh, and it's got Han and Carbonite. So that cost me, uh, I want to say 40 bucks. I've got 50 bucks in one right now. And hopefully this little trap door doesn't cost me more than 20. So I'll have hopefully 70 bucks in it. If I can find that, the ramp door for that price uh most of them are probably going for around 30 so um but these complete in good shape will run around 100 bucks so we will see if um uh looks like i'm gonna have to fix the uh trigger too it's not working so this one's probably going to be a restore too so i'll end up getting new all new stickers for this or vintage stickers so um, yeah, we'll see. I'm hoping it comes in under budget, but we'll see. Uh, this next one, I picked this up. This is one of the ATST vintage ones. And the only thing I believe it's missing is one of the cheat guns and one of the top guns up here. So, um, if that's the case, it's relatively clean on the inside. I don't know if yeah, I'd probably replace all the stickers and clean this one up too. Um, but I've got 15 bucks into this, that chin gun. Um, I think I can get the chin gun for 10 and maybe the roof gun for 10. So um, I'm hoping that I'll have about 35, maybe 45 bucks in it with stickers. So that's kind of the goal on this one. Um, I don't really know what these go for. I'm guessing I probably could have bought one complete for 45. So I'm hoping I can find the... Uh, the gun the guns cheaper maybe if i'm lucky um if anyone knows a good place to buy star wars parts um let me know i'd really like to know um so next up a couple of things so i'm gonna go through a little box of stuff i have here um if you know me you probably know what it is um but before i get into this um, my next video is going to have one of the, or two of the rarest toys that I have ever bought. Um, pretty close. Uh, I still think my, uh, Ninja Turtle Scratch is more expensive or more valuable and probably so is my hotspot outside of those as far as vintage toys. Cause I've probably got some modern toys that are more expensive. Anyway, two of the rarest toys, they're not extremely expensive things. But they are extremely cool. If you like 80s, you will love these. I'm absolutely sure you will. And they are awesome. And I'm excited. They're over here on a shelf. You're not going to get to see them in this video. So I want to make a whole separate video for them because I think they deserve it. Um, then after that, I've got um, just a couple things coming in the mail. Um, uh, mainly um, parts uh, for different projects and stuff. Hopefully I'll be getting to some project videos soon. Um, and I have a comic book haul, a small comic book haul, nothing too special, but, um, a couple cool things. Um, and then I've got 
uh, Ninja Turtle special uh, little video I'm going to do. Uh, I actually got two planned. I don't know how it's going to work out, but um, I think I'm going to do like a... Yeah, anyway, I don't want to ruin it. So um, I'm just going to jump into this box and see show you what I got. Uh, first up, I got Dimwit. Uh, Private Dimwit. Uh, Rocksteady, I believe. Something Dimwit. Uh, Lieutenant Dimwit or something like that. Anyway, it's Rocksteady. Um, kind of uncommon. I don't see him very often. Uh, not, I wouldn't call him rare, but definitely uncommon. You don't see him all the time. So, um, I thought I had more weapons for him because I bought the figure loose because I thought I had all the weapons, but I don't think I do, actually. Then I picked up uh, one of the crazy um, wacky action Michelangelo's because uh, mine had gotten broke, so I had to pick up another one. Um, we're actually just going to do this here. I'm going to take him out. Then I picked up uh, Mutating Bebop, which uh, I still need to find. Um, he had a like a switchblade because he had a drill on this side and something different on this side. Um, so I still need to find his parts, and I think I actually have his weapons for him. So... Um, Next up, uh, we'll just go ahead and grab this guy here. I picked up Donatello's T-Rex uh, for the cave turtles, and I already have that Donatello complete, so that completes him. So that's two of the dinosaurs complete, and I still need to find... Uh, I've got that one in Leonardo, so I still need to find the rest. Um, then I picked up uh, Wacky Arm uh, Leonardo. Um... This is another one that I didn't have, so, um, yeah. Uh, actually, I have him, but he's in really, he was pretty well busted up, same as my Michelangelo. Those were not the most sturdy of figures. Then I picked up, I think this is the last talking turtle that I needed. So, this is the talking Raphael. Then I picked up uh, pizza shooting Raphael. And I think I need one more of those to make the whole set of those. And I think I actually got most of his parts. Um, Leonardo from the uh, Turtles 3 movie. Um, yeah, nothing special there. And I uh, picked up one of the head-dropping Donatello's. Like I said, I'm just kind of going back and picking up these when I can find them for dirt cheap. Um, because I don't like the... They're not the my favorite turtles in the world but i still like them you know they're turtles so when you find them for a good price i'm gonna buy them why not and then the 2007 movie splinter and uh one of the statue guys i can't remember his name from the 2007 movie um the 2007 turtles pop up every once in a while but uh yeah they're never really complete i think his eyes are supposed to light up um, but looks like the batteries are dead. So I may actually pull this thing apart and take the batteries out for storage. Cause I don't know if I'll actually store those till I have the whole set or display them. Then I picked up one of the Kung Fu Bebops. It's kind of like the, uh, Rock'em Sock'em Turtles where you basically connect this to his back. It works like a little controller and he punches and kicks. And if you hit him in the chest, his head pops. So, sorry the camera is close. Can't do anything about that. Uh... I picked up one of the uh, movie uh, Michelangelo figures. Um, I want to say that this is actually the Shogun version, but I'm going to have to look it up and see. Um, yeah, I think that's the Shogun version. But we'll see. Then I picked up... Um, oh, wait. I got another one in here. Uh, I picked up a head drop in Michelangelo. over and show you a couple of parts um i got for the pro pilot don i got his parachute and also got his mask uh that'll be for another video hopefully coming up soon for a vehicle i found hopefully hopefully i win it on uh, well, not really win it. Hopefully, the guy decides to sell it to me. And a rat for Rat King, and Chrome Dome's belt, and Space Usagi gun, 
And this is for the Wacky Action Raphael. And I think this was the last weapon I needed for my vintage April O'Neil figure. And some throwing stars, because you always need those. And same as the uh, weapons racks. And yo-yos for a movie star Michelangelo. And the helmet for Pro Pilot Don. And I bought the, got these weapons and then ended up... Uh, I think these are the ones that go for Michelangelo. So uh, he com should be complete. Um, then... Mutagen Cancer, I think that's for one of the movie stars, uh, or the mutation figures, and this one's for one of the movie star Raphaels. And then the piece of pizza for the undercover Donatello, and this is a Bucky O'Hare gun, so that's going to go over here with those guys. And uh, this is a can launcher for uh, Lieutenant Leonardo and Scale Tails gun, and a storage shell turtle hook. And this is for a mutating uh, Raphael figure. So I want to say that moves. Yeah. This is supposed to move. Um, and this is for the sword slashing shredder. So I think that completes him. And this piece is kind of odd. Um, so I've showed you my sewer uh, sub many times. I always see versions of it with this gun and with an orange gun. I don't know if there at some point they did a release where they... Uh, put this on the sub and took the orange gun off. I'm not sure, but if anyone knows for sure, if you own the sewer sub, which gun does yours have? On the box, I want to say it shows the orange gun, but I'll have to do some digging and look at that. Um, actually, I wonder if I can look that up. I wonder, just out of curiosity. Uh, see? See in the sewer sub? See, it's got an orange gun. That's how I think it's supposed to be. That's the only part I'm missing is the barrel right here. Um, and if you're wondering what this book is, uh, that's for a later date. Um, and then one of the rarest pieces that I've bought as far as a Ninja Turtle weapon is this. This is a missile for the mini Technodrome Scout. And um, you will see a lot of uh, times on eBay when the Technodrome Scout is listed as complete and it is always missing two of these i've been looking for about probably six years this is the first one that i've ever seen so they must have my guess is um they pulled these and decided not to put them in some of them or everyone has just completely lost theirs but this is the missile that goes to it you have to have two of these to make it complete, and it's on the front of the vehicle. So if you don't have two of these missiles, it's not complete. So mine is not complete, but now it is 99% complete. 98%. We'll say 98%. Because um, it's just missing that one missile. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, uh, real quick before I run out. As you can see, I've done some rearranging in here. So... I put an extra row of turtles in here, and that's going to get filled up a little bit more. Um, I put out a lot of my uh, little mini mutant figures there. Um, and uh, how can I do this? Okay. And I've changed this display. I used to just have all the Marvel Legends stuff just thrown in there, but I wanted to be able to see my X-Men and the Star Wars figures a little bit better. So uh, I basically turned this Transformer shelf into an overflow shelf. So now I've got just rows of Marvel Legends and Transformers. Um, and there's, I think, Star Wars back there. So this is just kind of my overflow shelf right now until I figure out what I'm going to do with it. So anyway... Um, it's late at night, and I've got to get all this stuff put away. So, appreciate you guys taking the time to watch. Um, I tried to run through this as quick as I could, and it still took 20 minutes. So, maybe I need to start doing these in smaller videos. Do you guys like the long haul videos, or would you rather see a short haul video? Like, four or five figures. Or do you like when I just save them up? So, if I did four or five figures, I might put out videos more. Or would you rather wait a couple weeks and see a big haul like this? Um, let me know in the comments. I'd really appreciate your input. All of you guys are awesome. Um, thumbs up, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what to say. I, I'm terrible at this, so 
uh, anyone who actually subscribes to me, um, thanks and sorry because <laughs> I suck at this. So uh, you guys are awesome. Love you guys. Have a wonderful Christmas. Bye.